Little Voices from Loch Leven. In this documentary series, we present people who live in Kinrosche, an area situated around Loch Leven, the largest loch in lowland Scotland. Kinrosche is a rural part of Scotland with agriculture and tourism the main economic provider as, as well as the main impact of humans on the environment. This film is a community effort that shares people's opinions and reflections on different aspects of climate change. The participants express the individual experience of climate change and their ideas for mitigating and adapting to it. Part 2. Can we stop or at least minimize climate change? Climate change has already started. The changes in weather patterns have already led to devastating effects in many parts of the world, leading to conflicts, migration, deterioration of the environment, and an increase in wildlife extinction. All these reports on the news are terrifying. But there are solutions which boil down to one big task. How to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Can we do that? I think climate change is an inevitability now. But what we can do is minimise our effects on the planet by how we live particularly our own personal choices. And if each of us makes personal choices ourselves in that way to minimise our effects on the, on the climate and on our planet, then it'll produce a much bigger effect that may well be measurable. Just thinking about what I can do personally to minimise my effect on the planet and the footprint that I leave, well, the first thing I can do is change the way in which I drive. Sometimes I like to put my foot down and accelerate away from junctions or what have you. And perhaps I need to be more mindful about how I use the fuel in my car uh, to use it more wisely and so I can get further with it. That's one thing I can do to reduce my fuel consumption. Also to do with fuel consumption, I can think about how I heat the house. Now I know my family like to have a nice warm house as any family does, but maybe we need to think more about wearing more clothes in, indoors and turning down the thermostat, particularly in the winter too, so that all the heat we produce doesn't just leach out into the colder atmosphere. I also think need to think about the diet that I have. I love to have red meat, steaks, etc. And there are other options out there that are just as good that I need to maybe include more in my own diet. Things like tofu and beans and pulses, protein sources, if you like. So just cutting out a bit of red meat from my diet will mean that I impose less of a burden on farmers and their need to produce livestock and cattle that does produce an awful lot of CO2 for our atmosphere and methane, greenhouse gases if you like. I also need to think about how I make shorter journeys too. Get on my bike more often, going from here into town rather than just as I have done in the past jumping in the car. I would probably try and recycle more and be aware of like the plastic I'm using and try and reduce my plastic waste because it kind of adds up like you don't realise um, like going to the co-op you buy a drink and it's in a plastic bottle and it's like realising that and deciding no I don't need to buy this um, so reducing plastic waste and probably not asking for as many lifts like trying to walk and cycle more, so yeah. I think individuals can make a massive difference um, by reducing their carbon footprint. I think that we're all responsible. It's not just the responsibility of the UN or governments or um, corporations. We are all responsible for taking the acts that we can. And I do think there's a rising tide of individuals who are willing to make changes in their lives. Some of the small ways I've tried to live more ethically are um, giving up meat in my diet and also uh, reducing the amount of dairy that I eat 
and this has been a slow process over years and I, I do feel a lot healthier so that's a really great side effect from that. Um, I've moved my pension to a, a more ethical bank to ensure that any money that I invest is going towards sustainable causes. I've switched my electricity to um, a renewable energy company. Just recently we've changed to a hybrid car and I know that's not accessible for everyone, but um, yeah, so it was a good option for us. Um, I am try, although I'm not great at all at this all the time, I try to buy secondhand or used in terms of books and clothes. Um, I try and, and, and grow a bit of, um, uh, of my own vegetables and fruit at home, which again is a very um, early days in, in learning how to do that. But that's, yeah, it's been really amazing what you can do with the packet of seeds. And, um, and I try, again, this is work in progress to reduce my use of single use plastic. So whenever I can, taking my water bottle with me or my coffee cup, um, trying to use a shampoo bar. Uh, so all of these things, um, I think, help me reduce my, my carbon footprint. Well, there are many things that we can do to reduce the carbon footprint. Um, uh, one thing we can do is to reduce our consumption of products. Uh, this world thrives on uh, demand and um, consuming demand, mm -hmm. um, supply and demand, sorry. And that is one of the very reasons why greenhouse gas emissions are increasing. Um, and with a substantial decrease in demand, um, we we will we would I imagine see a decrease of greenhouse gas emissions. Um, and another thing we can do is to avert to uh, other sources of energy, alternative energy that are low carbon emitting and, if possible, mm. and, uh, no carbon emissions at all, um, and other forms of greenhouse gas emissions for that matter. Uh, we can also um, consume uh, products actually more sustainably, uh, such as meat from the Brazilian rainforest or uh, palm oil from uh, from the Indonesian rainforest. Um, without sustainability, uh, there's no telling what is being regulated, and that not, not only in the human, not only in the environmental aspect, but in the human rights aspect as well. Because if we don't um, uh, con conclude that human rights is is a contributor, shall we say, to climate change, if we don't um, add that into the prospect, uh, we will see a continuous um, increase of population, uh, over demand, which will, which will result in more uh, greenhouse gas emissions. Um. I think there's something everybody can do, but it's something that I think about doing. One is stop buying stuff. We buy far too much stuff. I mean, throw lots of stuff away, and that's just wasteful. So we need to think twice before we buy things. We've become a disposable society and that's not good. The other thing is, think twice before you get in the car. Sometimes it's not necessary to take the car. You could walk, you could cycle. Don't have to use the car for every journey. So it's just a case of thinking about that. Uh, and the other thing is, eat less meat and fish and have a bit more of a vegetarian diet. Personally, I guess what we're doing as a family is we're trying to minimise our carbon footprint by driving less and buying an electric car. Um, we're trying to shift our diet away from um, dairy and beef and those kind of products that require or produce a lot of greenhouse gas. I don't really know what to do about it. I can do little things individually in my family and I hope that these little things will go on to be additional and have bigger consequences.